I'll show you how to trade stop orders on Coinbase Advanced and why you may want to use this order type. So on the right hand side, we want to choose the order type right here and then stop limit. You may have also heard this referred to as a trigger order. A stop order or a trigger order is where you give the system an instruction to only enter the order when a certain trigger price is met. And that's different than a limit order, right? A limit order trades immediately as long as the price is at or better than your limit. And when you press the order, your order is actually in the system, right? A trigger order or a stop order doesn't even put the order into the system unless a specific trigger is met. And if that trigger is met, then your order goes in how you want to trade it. And this is usually used for selling uh, an asset that you have below the current price. And I'll explain that now. So it's known as a stop, sometimes known as a stop loss, um, but it may not be a loss that you have. You may have a profit, but essentially you're saying sell below the current price. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, I'll explain that now. So we go to sell, stop limit. My stop price here, or the trigger price, is the price at which I want my sell order to go in. So I'm going to choose a little bit below the current price. It's currently trading at 79,000 per one unit. So I'm going to choose 75,000. That's the trigger price. So that if 75,000 trades, that's where my trade will go in and I'm selling and I'm going to choose a limit price here of my order, my actual order of 75,000. So what I'm saying is if the price reaches 75,000, then enter a limit order to sell with my limit price at 75,000. You can choose anything you want here. You could put 80,000 if you want, but if the trigger price is met at 75, why would you put a limit order in to sell at 80? You can do that, but obviously you're not going to trade. And that would be, you know, why would you do that, right? You can put a lower price in. So you can say at a trigger price of 75, put a limit order in to sell at at least 70. You could do that. But for the most part, you'll probably keep it the same as your trigger. Uh, why would I want to do that? Why would I want to sell at a lower price than it is now? A stop order, sometimes known as a stop loss, you're selling at a price below the current price. Let's say that I bought some Bitcoin here or another crypto, right? And I've made you know some good profits and I'm willing to take profits now, but I'm not in any rush and I'm willing for the price to also bounce around a little bit and maybe go a bit higher later. That's fine for me. But what I want to do is lock in my price to sell at at least uh, 75, whatever it is here, right? So what I'm saying is I I'm willing to lock in my profits at 75, but I'm also willing not to sell right now and to see if the price goes a bit higher. Well, I can't use a limit order to sell at 75 because the price is higher than 75 right now, it's 79. So if I put a limit order to sell right now at 75, it would trade immediately for me. I don't wanna do that. I want to give the trade some breathing room. I want to sell at 75 below the current price. So I can't use a market order and I can't use a limit order. That's where the stop order comes in. What I'm telling the system is, if we get to 75, then sell. But if we don't, then just keep my order open, keep my crypto there, and hopefully we go a bit higher and I can sell higher later. So this is a way of selling below the current price. Um, and you can use a stop order for that where you can't use limit or market orders. And of course, you keep the assets right here. So that's a stop loss, sometimes known as, even though you may not be making a loss, you're selling below the current price and you can use a trigger order for that. You can also use stop orders to sell above the current price if you want. So let's say the current price is 79 and I want to sell at 100. You can use a stop order there to say, don't enter my order until 100, but you may as well just use a limit order in that case, because if your limit was 100K, you wouldn't trade until 100K because the price is now below that. And you can use a limit order, so you wouldn't need a stop order. So stop orders really work when you're selling below the current price. You can also use stop orders on the buy side as well. So let's say that you put a stop order in below the current price, that's fine. But again, you can use a limit order because what you're saying with a limit order is only trade if the price is 72, it's currently not, so it won't trade until it gets there. So you don't need a stop order for buy orders. You can also use a stop order for buy orders above the current price, that's where it would work out as well. So for example, you actually don't wanna buy now Right, but you do want to buy if the price rises and potentially breaks out. So you can say, don't buy until this price. A stop order would work there. So you can say my stop limit here, my stop price is actually above. So let's say 80,000 and my limit price would be you know, 80,000. And then that would actually wait to trade until the price rises above the current price. Not many people use this, but if you want to trade a breakout and you just want to put the order in and you think if a breakout happens, I want to chase that, you could do that as well. But for the most part, stop orders are used as a sell uh, below the current price to sell out if the price moves lower than it is now.